Hello Libra, welcome to your July weekly reading. This is going to be from July 24th through the 31st for my Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please understand this is still going to be a general message, so not all the information or energies are going to resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Don't try to make anything fit. Understand that you're always welcome to check your own moon, rising, Venus signs. Cross watchers, you are welcome. But do know that Libra is the main subject. Last but not least, do not make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the information or energies are available to you. So if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation, please do get a private reading. And for me, you can find that information in the detail box down below, along with all the other information like social media, so my Facebook group, all that great stuff, all in the detail box. Check it out. Okay. Libra, we're going to do something completely different, not been done by me before. Don't know if it's been done by other readers. I haven't seen it, but you know, hey, let's get started. We are going to take a look at several different aspects of your life at this time. We're going to start with career and finances, then we're going to go to love and love and relationships, home and family, friends and interpersonal relationships, health and well-being, messages, advice from spirit in the universe. Closing off with some numerology cards. All right, so let's get popping. All right, Libra, what is going on for my Libra's Please Spirit team in the area of career and finance? Please show me clearly and precisely. Thank you. Two more cards, please, for my Libra to show me what is going on. Our row. Okay, we got four here. So things are moving. You have an offer coming in. This has great potential for expansion. Something new. It's a new cycle starting for you. Um, it's very lucrative, very solid. Um, I do see a little bit of, of wisdom here. Do be careful when you're signing any contracts. Make sure you're reading the fine print. But this is going to lead you to some financial stability. Um, you could be going in partnership with a um, an earth sign, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Taurus. But I definitely see like massive things happening for here. Forward movement, new offer coming in, um, potential for creation. Definitely something new, a new cycle, a new beginning for stability and, and solidarity. Beautiful, beautiful message. All right, let's check out my Libras and love. Okay, we're not going to take those. What do we have, spirit team, for my Libras in the area of love and romance and relationships? What do we have going on from the 24th through the 31st of July for my Libras? Please show me clearly and precisely what is going on. Again, that's too many. Make the message clear and precise, please. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, July 24th through the 31st. What is going on with my Libras this time? Must be working out the perfect message for you guys. we have for my Libras. Come on. What's going on in the area of love? There we go. All right. We are seeing you come through with the King of Swords. So you are definitely feeling your element here. I feel like you are really, yeah, you're being strong, brave, and courageous. You're not allowing emotions to get in the way. I do see an offer, a potential offer coming in for you guys, a renewal for some, but I do feel like you're kind of being brave and courageous and not saying a whole lot at this time. Um, you don't necessarily trust this offer coming in. Um, it's coming in very quickly. For some of you, I feel like you're going to leave it behind because you feel like this person is narcissistic or not really trustworthy to be in a partnership with, and that's just the message I'm getting through for some of you. Some of you, you are looking at this because there's a feeling of distrust in this offer that's coming in and you it could be with a leo but i do feel like again you are wanting to move things forward but not without lessons learned like i do feel like you're being cautious maybe evaluating kind of checking out whether or not this person can be trusted here to enter into a partnership some of you it could be within aries but i do feel like you're going to take your time you're in control of this matter but bottom line is libra you're good on your own regardless you're solid you're abundant you don't need anybody here unless you so choose. All right, so what's going on with my Libras in the area of family and home? I'm getting the three of wands. What else can you tell me? Tell 
Temperance card of Sagittarius. What else can you tell me? One more. All right, there is the world. Another completion cycle here. Um, yeah, forward movement. I feel like we there has been a situation. I feel like somebody's maybe turned their back here. It could be a family member that you're dealing with where there's been some type of upheaval. Um, I do feel like there's going to be communication um, coming through. I do feel like you're kind of trying to bring this into balance. And I do believe with the temperance and the world that you are completing a difficult cycle with this person. And I do believe, yeah, you may be choosing a different path because this person, again, is not very trustworthy. It could be the same person as over here. This could be dealing with a, like a long-term relationship, marriage. Some of you, I feel like you're going to go on your own. And yeah, there you are. Bringing yourself into balance, relying on self, self-fulfillment, self-happiness here. For others of you, you're, you're going to be able to forgive this person and start a new cycle with them. All right. In the area of friendships and interpersonal relationships, what is going on with my Libras? Please show me clearly and precisely what is hopping, popping for my Libras, please. Here we have friendships and social relationships. We're going to take that one. That one. What else can you tell me? So I feel like a new friend or renewal. Somebody's coming in here. Um, it's a turn of luck. They're bringing in good luck and fortune with them for you. Yeah, they're yeah they are. There's somebody new coming in. They're all they're going to come in with a, an offer maybe to go get some drinks to have you know dinner. Something of that nature, kind of just to hang out. Um, Libra, I do feel like this is going to be a lucrative. It's at the bottom of the deck. Friendship for you. They're bringing in good fortune and good luck with them. This could be a love offer from somebody that's coming from a friend. For some of you. All right. And health and well-being. What do we have for my Libras, please? Health and well-being. What do we have for my Libras? Five of Swords. So there's been some difficulty going through. Something that you're not trusting. Yeah, there it is. Okay, something's got you guys a little worried. Take control over it. If it is a health problem, go and see see a doctor. If it's some uh, mental issue that you've become kind of conflicted with, and you, you know you're worried about deceptions, lies, manipulations, you're at a crossroads. Kind of guidance that you kind of been trying to be patient. There's a lot of conflict around it is saying you know to kind of just step back away from it watch from afar but definitely if this is a health issue take and it's been bothering you for some time it's been going on um you maybe you've been kind of trying to see things like not as maybe not as bad as what they are okay i feel like you're being self-deceptive in this situation but you're not really sure what to do about it seek seek medical advice from somebody that is got the the power and the ability to do something to help you out here. All right. The training. <laughs> See a doctor, a therapist, someone that has the ability to help you in this area. Okay, so Spirit is saying the full time for new beginnings, time to go in a new direction, time to start. Okay, four of cups. So there's something that you've been dissatisfied, you've been waiting on. I feel like it's kind of this ten of cups energy. Something that you were waiting to turn into the Ten of Cups that kind of isn't moving, hasn't been moving for quite some time. It's time to take a leap of faith, go in a different direction, move forward. There you go. King of Pentacles, Temperance. We are getting repeating cards. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, new journey, new path. You need to temper your energies, bring yourself into balance. It leads to your stability. Leave behind that feeling of rejection, loss, abandonment. Move away from that. It's time to let that go. It's time for a new cycle. What else can you tell me? Yep, things that have come to an end, possibly in love. It's time to look towards the future and release that. You've been holding on to that. It's time to release that burden. Make a new decision. Could be a Gemini, but some of you, this is having to do with marriage as well. Time to turn your focus and intent to something that you can be victorious in. All right, so that is what we have with that. Now we're going to get a couple of Moonology cards to end this reading on.
All right, what do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for July 24th through the 31st, please? Show me precisely, clearly. What messages do you have for Libra at this time? We have step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Ooh, okay, we're gonna go with these three. It's time to take action. Emotions are running high in the situation and meditate and contemplate. Some of you could be dealing with a Aries or a Pisces, but it can really be any sign. But that is all the messages I have for you at this time, Libra. Please let me know in the comments down below if it resonated for you. Please, before you head out, hit that like button so this video circulates for everyone. And if you have not yet done so, please consider joining us by hitting that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. Namaste. Bye for now.